This is theprotocol.tv. Okay, we got a Bitcoin QR code. We are all very familiar with that. I've got my Hyper 3 mounted on the back of my phone. The actual device is very simple. It's a low energy Bluetooth biometric token generator. It's extremely thin and it's got over a year of battery life. I'm gonna scan this QR. After I scan a Bitcoin QR code, I'm able to choose not only from hosted wallets, but from my debit cards. So if I have a linked debit card and I don't own any Bitcoin, I can simply tap that debit card and I'm prompted to swipe. When I swipe my finger, I release a token up to the cloud where my transactions confirm. What's beautiful about that is if I don't have any Bitcoin or if I don't have a hosted wallet, I don't need one. The, char the card is charged, auto converted into BTC and payment is sent to the merchant for me. Internally, we're big fans of the Bitcoin protocol. Uh, the reason we've decided to launch the app, not only with credit card support, but with Bitcoin integration is simple. Using the best Bitcoin wallet out there is still an awful process. I mean, my mother's not gonna do that. My mom doesn't care what the blockchain is. That's, that's the problem with Bitcoin evangelists. They can't get that through their heads, that the normal average person just doesn't care. But if you could allow consumers to transact with it without actually needing to purchase it, without actually needing to hold it and be responsible for its security, then you're able to have people transact with Bitcoin without even knowing what it is. And that's really where consumer adoption should be heading. If we can make auto conversion a reality, which we feel that we, we can, now we're talking about something that the average person can use with their legacy payment system and not have to worry about loss or theft or, or any, any of the other things that plague the Bitcoin community right now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to know about new videos on theprotocol.tv.